6.4 truck intake manifold upgrade. Here's the 5.7. Let's swap it out. <laughs> Man, you would think, you would think that the uh, the plug here for the actor, the active runners would have a harness, another plug on the harness. It would save so much. How's it? A pain in the butt. Now we know why Phil Holman was complaining about it. He had to replace his motor. I think he ended up getting a whole new intake. I forget, but yeah, it's way back there. It's a pain in the butt. That's like the last thing you have to unplug when you uh, take this thing out. Whew. Pain in the butt. All right, intake's off. This isn't an install video. This is more of a comparison between the 6.4 truck intake manifold and the 5.7 truck intake manifold. I'm gonna pull out my 6.4. I'm just gonna kinda look at the differences in port size and throttle body hole and a couple other things. All right, if you're ever wondering about this sponge thing, some guys questioned it and they want to throw it away. Keep it. It helps with uh, keeping the heat off the bobby intake. It's kind of like a big piece of insulation. Might help with noise as well, but that's what it's mainly used for, I'm sure. I think we're gonna a couple people figured out how to do a catch can with the uh, 6.4 intake. I'm gonna pull it out. Um, I did notice a lot of oil, positive crankcase ventilation. And I had oil on my, it was clean oil on the bottom of my throttle body as well. And I just cleaned my fast man throttle body, 84 millimeter true bore. It's nice and clean now, but it did have oil on it. And a little bit, because that's what it's designed to do. And, you know, I'm not sure if it's for upper valve train lubrication or what, but you can see the oil in here, just a little bit. See, it gets sucked back in. But a lot of guys, you know, like to catch cans, so that doesn't do that. It keeps your intake clean. But then the big question is, you know, do these engines need upper valve train lubrication going through your valves? Because that's what the oil is going to do with the air and then the fuel, and it goes into your, through your heads. I was always skeptical about a catch can, but, but I'm thinking about doing a catch can soon. Try to do it on the 6.4. Because I think that's why, you know, the pistons are have that kind of deposits on them the oil is going in and it's burning up and causing you know deposits on the pistons so i think with the catch can it would definitely give me you know cleaner pistons all right let's first of all get that rag out of here because we know what happens when you leave the rag around we don't we don't want that getting sucked into the engine you know what i'm saying all right so today i want to i got the 6.4 truck intake manifold and i got the 5.7 uh truck intake manifold and i want to just distinguish uh, the differences i'm gonna get my caliper out like i did with the heads and just show you guys the difference between the intake runners and the throttle body hole right there but first if anybody's uh, going to do this i just figured this out myself so i'm sharing it with you just to help everybody out who uh, is thinking about doing the 6.4 uh, intake swap so real quick uh when you get the 6.4 you're gonna have to swap the fuel reels that's pretty simple because obviously your fuel reel, I have this capped off because I have, you know, keep the fuel from dripping everywhere. And my whole bond smelled like for a gas station. But uh, so your fuel connects here. It's on here on the left side on the 6.4. So you just swap the fuel reels, just kind of take it, twist it, number one. Uh, number two, the motor for the active runners on the 5.7 is in the back. So you are going to need an SRV connection that I got for Takamaya Sam. You got me one. So it connects to the front on the 6.4. And you, you are gonna need an EGR uh, block off plate for the 6.4, which is here. We don't have one on the 5.7. We have one on the 6.4, which I have, but you are gonna need something, a piece of carbon fiber, a piece of metal, something just to block that off. Also your map sensor, you're gonna have to take the one off your 5.7 and get it onto here. It's a little bigger on the 5.7. You're going to have to do some trimming on this tab right here. And all the vacuum ports. Uh, your EVAP hose is a small EVAP hose in the front on the 5.7. This one goes here. This is your brake 
booster uh, on the 5.7. That's actually in the back. So you have to extend that right in the back there. And the pipe that goes to your intake is here. And the one on the 6.4 is here. Uh, some guys put breathers on them or block them off. My intake supports it because I have a leg maker uh, mid tube from most performance with the uh, 5.7 upper box and I have a diesel lower box for more air. So I will be using that on the 6.4. So the 6.4s have an internal positive crankcase ventilation PCV valve inside. So you don't, you're not going to have this at all. This is internal and external on the outside. So you're not going to have that. And that's basically it as far as, you know, swapping everything over and making it work. You are going to have to modify your intake tube a little bit because obviously this one shoots up and this one shoots at around, you know, 10 o'clock, 9.30, 10 o'clock. I wanted to swap these oil caps because obviously <laughs> we don't do 0W40. We do uh, 5W20. They don't fit. So what I'll have to do is just get a marker or something. Maybe I have Phil Holman make a sticker. That says 5W20 on there, just because I'm anal like that, but you don't have to, but yeah, so that's it. So let's flip these over and we'll get the caliper out and just I'll show you the differences in uh, the intake runner sizes and the throttle body hole sizes right here. If you plan on sticking with your 5.7 injectors, you will need a little bit of a spacer uh, to fit these. Well, the 5.7 injectors are a little smaller than the 6.4s. So you're gonna have to put a spacer in there uh, to make up for that difference. I am keeping the 6.4 injector, so I won't have any issues, but just to give you a heads up. Anybody with a stock intake that plans on doing this, you will need an extension for your IATS, your intake air temperature sensor. I have one over here for my, uh, I have a leg maker tube. So I actually had an extension, uh, where is it, for my, uh, it's right here. I had it before. I have this because I have the leg maker tube, so there's no hole in the leg maker. So they give you an extension for it, which goes into the cone that goes into the fender. So just a heads up, depending on what application you have for your cold air intake. All right, something else I noticed when I was picking these intakes up, this is the 6.4. I don't know if it's me, if I'm feeling weak or something, or I had a flash or what's going on. The 5.7, to me, feels heavier than the 6.4. Um, so I got my scale out and I'm gonna weigh them because I really think this thing is about a pound or two heavier than the 6.4. Let's, let's throw them on the scale. All right, here's the 5.7 intake manifold. Let me see if we can balance it without putting weight on it. All right, what we got? 23.4. 23.4. Damn, this thing's heavy. All right. And here is the 6.4 intake manifold. I don't even care if it's a half a pound. I know it's, I know it's lighter. I know it's lighter. 23.4. I knew it, man. I knew it. 22. <laughs> it's 1.4 pounds heavier. I knew it. <sighs> now I know why Kyle Tingle uses this. <laughs> I knew it. That scale might even be off. It was actually a little less, but I'm going to say it's, it's about a pound and a half, two pounds lighter, this 6.4 intake manifold. It is. I just wanted to get that straight and I figured I'd share it with you guys because I knew something was up. All right, guys, what I just realized is I went to flip these over and get my caliper out and I just realized that this 5.7 intake manifold's ported. I can't do a comparison that way. So what I'm gonna do is maybe do a separate video on uh, Bruno's gonna, uh, he's taking this uh, 5.7 intake off of me. Maybe we, when he comes here, we'll take his intake off and I'll do a comparison then with the caliper. That's the only way I can do that. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Like the video and stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you in the next one. See you.